In this video, we will look at multiplying and dividing in scientific notation, where our final answer is not in scientific notation. When our final answer is not in scientific notation, we will simply convert it using our exponent properties. Let's take a look at some examples where we see this conversion happen. In this problem, we know we can multiply the numbers 6.7 times 5.2 on the calculator gives us 34.84. We also know that we can use our exponent properties to combine the tens together. We can do that by adding the exponents negative 3 and negative 6. This gives us negative 9. We now have 34.84 times 10 to the negative 9th. However, the 34.84 is not in scientific notation. The decimal point should go after the 3. So we focus on this number and look at how we can convert it to scientific notation. 3.484 times 10, we need a positive exponent because 34 was a big number, and we move the decimal one place. We still have the times 10 to the negative 9, as we have not touched that yet. We now will use our exponent properties to combine the tens together by adding the exponents. This gives us 3.484 times 10, 1 plus negative 9 is negative 8. And this becomes our final solution. Let's take a look at another problem, where the answer we get is not in scientific notation, and we have to focus on the front number to make the conversion, using our exponent properties. Again, on this per problem, as before, We'll focus on the front numbers and divide on the calculator to get 0 0.28. For the tens, since it's a division problem, we will subtract the exponents. Be very careful with the negatives and subtracting. We're doing negative 6, subtracting negative 2. This will not give us an answer of negative 8. When we add the opposite, we find this is actually negative 4. Notice again, our final answer is not in scientific notation. It is too small. Because our number is small, we know we're going to need a negative exponent as we convert, putting the decimal where it belongs after the 2. 2.8 times 10 to the negative, because the decimal was a small one, moving it once, negative 1. We still have the times 10 to the negative 4 at the end, and we can finally combine the tens together using our exponent properties. This gives us 2.8 times 10, and when we add the exponents, negative 1 and negative 4, we get negative 5. 2.8 times 10 to the negative 5th is our final answer in scientific notation. Again, if our final answer is not in scientific notation, we simply make a conversion and then use exponent properties on the tens.